What if I told you that in some minutes from now, you're going to have a really cool Laravel powered AI chatbot in a web app. We're going to use Laravel, Livewire and Prism PHP packets. Let's build it. So what we have here is a basic installation of Laravel 12. 12.2 to be exact. Now let's go ahead and install Prism PHP. So Composer require Prism PHP slash Prism. And now what we're going to do next is vendor publish tag prism config in order to get prism configuration file. So we have, you see here, config slash prism PHP. Let's go and check it out. So prism PHP. And as you can see in here, we have prism server, which defaults to true. Some providers like OpenAPI, Anthropic, or Llama, etc. We're going to use OpenAPI in this case. So before we continue, what we're going to do is fill this up. So OpenAI API key and the organization. Let's go to our ENV. I have them here ready for you. So I'm just going to fill them up. You don't need to see this. And we're ready. Let's start now by creating a live wire component. So PHP artisan make live wire. And we're going to name this chatbot. Perfect. Let's open this up. We have the chatbot component now. And before we move on, let's create the model as well, the model we're going to use. So the model will be called chat interaction. And let's also have our migration. So let's open up our migration chat and open this up. It's going to be a very basic. So first thing we're going to add is something called question. And as you guessed it, answer as well. Last but not least, we are going to assign this to an actual user. We're going to constrain it. And if it gets deleted, the user gets deleted, we're going to cascade that. That's something direction. OK. And before we run the migration, we're going to just create our database. So that's database, database.sqlite, which will be the database of choice. Let's run the migration now. PHP Arts and Migrate. Perfect. So we have this up and running. Let's go to our chat interaction model here and uh, fill guarded close up. Protected, guarded, empty array. So we're not going to hit any mass assignment exceptions, of course. First things first. We're going to have an array of messages because we're going to keep track of all messages that we interact with in the chat. So we have some kind of memory. Next, the question. Now we move on, but we will have a mount method. And in this mount method, we're going to get all the messages from chat interaction. And we're going to pass them to our messages here. This is not very optimal for scaling, of course, but it's just for demonstration purposes. Please don't use all in, in, in your site. Just iterate, paginate, whatever you like to do. Just don't use that. We're going to use this only to showcase this example. So next thing, uh, we would like to ask some questions, right? So let's create a new function. It's going to be called ask question. So first thing we're going to have is new user message. And we're going to pass the question. We'll see for that. The second thing our conversation array is going to have is an assistant message. And it's going to be the answer. Let's import that as well. Perfect. So what we have now in the conversation array is the old interaction we had with the chatbot. We also want to add the new interaction. So the question we're going to get from the user, the new question actually, add this in the conversation as well. And now I'm going to copy over some Prism PHP code that we're going to discuss. Let's import that. Perfect. 
So what this does is it tells Prism to use the text functionality using the provider of OpenAI and specifically the model of GPT-4. We're going to have a prompt, system prompt, telling OpenAI that it's actually a helpful uh, FAQ system. And then we're going to pass the conversation array as the messages. We need this back as text, so we're going to get the response. We could try this out in a bit and show you what the response is going to be like. So next, after we have this, the response, we're going to store that in answer. And it's like response text. Very easy. We're going to create the new chat interaction. So interaction is chat interaction. We're going to create that question from the question the user gave us. The answer we got back from the response from OpenAI, and we shouldn't forget to assign this to an actual user. We're going to do this for the logged in user in this case. And last but not least, we need to push this interaction in the current messages array. So this messages push interaction. And let's clear out the prompt as well. So the question will be empty once we submit this, uh, this function. So now that we have the backend part, let's transition into our blade file. We, will, we won't have any fancy CSS, but you're free to do whatever you want with this one. So let's visit our chatbot blade file. I'm going to copy over some code. It's fairly simple. We're going to use Tailwind CSS in this case, but it's very basic as you can see. So we have the area of messages, the interaction, the question we asked so far, the answers we got, a fairly simple input in order to type our question and a button to submit it. So when we submit the button, we will call the ask question function. Whenever we type something, it will obviously be assigned to the question variable we have in Liveware. But let's see this in action. So let's see this in action. I have in my terminal running the npm run dev command already. Then I'm going to move to my Google Chrome. And if we refresh, we can see the landing page. Let's register a user. Fairly quick. Create. And we're in. So now we will need to add this LiveWire component in order to see it, right? So let's go into dashboard. Let's remove everything from here. And let's add LiveWire chatbot. Actually, let's do it this way. Chatbot, yes. Perfect. And as you can see, we have a very, very basic input and a button to ask. So what should we ask now? Um, what is the best Laravel news site? Hey, we get a response back. So the official Laravel news site is one of the best sources for Laravel related news. Very nice. As you can see, if I refresh, I still get my question and the response back. So if we move on with another question, are you sure about that? Yes, I am. Laravel News is widely recognized. Very nice. So it takes into account our previous question and answers and continues with the, with the rest. So let's go back into our code and see the response we get from Prism. Okay, got it. Thanks. Let's send it. We can see that we have a response. You're welcome. Do you have some messages here? I can see six messages starting from the first user message, which is what we asked at the beginning, an assistant message, which is the first response, and it goes on and on. Second question, second response, third one. This one will be empty because it didn't have the chance to populate it yet. You can also get other stuff like some metadata, rate limits, the tokens. That's a very, very useful as well. You know how much tokens you have left and how much it takes for you to interact with, with OpenAI. And there you have it. It was very simple, right? Just by using Laravel, Livewire, and Prism PHP. It couldn't get any easier, to be honest. We can use this in various cases such as content generation and AI assistance. If you liked the video, hit the like button and let me know below in the comments.
what would you like to see next with AI feature? See you in the next one.